back to Fact here to talk about the newly discovered species of 2021. 2021 was quite the exciting year, leaving a handful of species for us to discuss today in this video. These species range from around the world, some located in North America, Asia, Africa, and even the Oceanic Islands. In this video, we will be discussing 23 newly discovered species. Describing a new species means to give that species a formal description, which usually comes in the form of a scientific paper. This paper must give a clear description on how this species differs from the rest, sometimes taking years and years of field study. This then allows scientists to give these animals a name, and we have some pretty clever ones that we'll be covering today. The orange-furred bat. This bat lives in the Nimba Mountains of New Guinea in West Africa. Dwelling inside ancient caves and abandoned mine shafts, it was spotted in 2018, quickly being recognized as a new species due to its orange fur, and was officially described in 2021, with the years in between being used to study this species, making sure it was unique. There are around 1,400 species of bats, with newly discovered ones being most likely found in tropical regions. This bat belongs to the micro bat family, which makes up 70% of this 1,400 populace. The Alagos and Jinyu screech owls. The Alagos gets its name from the location that it lives, which is a small state in northeastern Brazil lined with tropical beaches. The Jinyu owl is in reference to the Jinyu River in the Amazon, and the late sister Dorothy May Stang, who was murdered due to her activism efforts in 2005. Prior to discovery, these two owls were categorized with the black cap screech owl and the tawny-bellied screech owl. Though they did find there were enough differences in a close re-examination of their bird calls, genetic coding, and general appearance. They used 252 owl specimen, 83 tape recordings, and 49 genetic samples to classify these owls as their own species, which prior to discovery, there were about 25 screech owls. These two being part of a subspecies of an unknown amount, leaving some to be discovered. These owls are brown, gray, or a color in between. They stand about 13 to 15 centimeters or five to six inches tall and support unique tufts of feathers on their heads. They can only be found in five separated forest fragments, with the population in the Atlantic rainforest of the Alagos having less than 10% remaining and less than 1% protected. This leads researchers to believe that they are likely critically endangered. The forest geckos of the Western Ghat Mountains. These geckos live in the Western Ghats mountain range of India. These guys might be my favorite picks of 2021, with 10 species being entirely unique to the area. These 12 species were found during a four-year expedition Expedition, where they sampled a 16 kilometer or 1,000 mile range of mountains. They belong to a genus called Cynomaspis, also known as day geckos, who are known for their circular pupils. A nocturnal gecko or a night gecko is more likely to have slit-like pupils. Most species in this genus aren't very good climbers, which makes them very challenging to find, as they love to hide amongst the rubble of caves or the debris of a forest floor. Another thing making these guys hard to find is that they are dwarf geckos, with males measuring to be three to four centimeters in length or 1.2 to 1.6 inches in length. Now as for the names of these geckos, these scientists pulled no punches when coming up with ingenious ones. The first one being the Balerian forest gecko which is named after the Black Dread, the dragon in the Game of Thrones. The reason being is that this gecko sports distinct black scales on its back. Next is the Cynomaspis smog who gets its name from the novel The Hobbit. Smog in German means to creep or squeeze through a hole which translates well to this slippery little gecko. More slippery than this is the Cynomaspis jackii, who was named after the martial arts actor Jackie Chan. They named him this because of all the scenes that you see Jackie Chan in jumping through windows or tight spaces. Next we have the Cynomaspis galaxia, which is named for the male's coloration that is reminiscent of the sun's haze-like yellow on the interior and bluish-white star-like spots on a black background. Very poetic. And last but not least is the Wallace's forest gecko. Named in honor of Alfred Russell Wallace, who did just as much for the theories of evolution as Charles Darwin did. Finally, the Cynomaspis genus is comprised of three different species of gecko. These span from Africa to Southeast Asia and Sri Lanka. Rice whales. They were first reported as brides whales in 1965. And I know what you're thinking, how have they swum under the radar for that long? The reason these guys have been hidden is they have such a close resemblance to their cousins. And they feed at much greater depths in the panhandle of Florida. There are also two subspecies that live in the Atlantic and the Pacific. So it wasn't until a rice's whale washed up on a Florida Everglades beach that scientists had enough evidence to describe this new species into science. The Suzanne's crate, often getting grouped in with other crate subspecies. Crate have a very bad reputation of sneaking into people's homes in search of food at night and accidentally disturbing people while they're sleeping, which leads to them being bitten. 
This species was found in rice fields and streams in China and northern Myanmar. After DNA sequencing from species they collected between 2016 and 2019, it was decided that there were enough differences to label this a new species. The Suzen's crate gets its name from Su Zen, who comes from a Chinese myth named the Legend of the White Snake. After training in the Taoist arts, she transformed from this white snake into a beautiful woman. She then met a man who helped her save many lives running a hospital together. Because their love was forbidden, she was eternally imprisoned. So the Chinese people revere her as a goddess of hope and love. The Trap Jaw Ant This ant was first discovered in Ecuador and was spotted quite quickly to be a new species by a researcher named Honnel. This German researcher is one of the most versed in trap jaw ants. This ant being noticed for its extremely shiny exoskeleton, which sets them apart from their relative counterparts. Another notable thing about this species is its extremely long trap jaw, which were described in the paper as a biological mousetrap. And this trap jaw is one of the fastest mechanisms in any living creature. Various species of trap jaw ants can be described with short or long mandibles and sometimes having none at all. The spotted skunk. This adorable little fart sack was found in North America, where its more commonly known cousin, the striped skunk, lives. After analyzing 203 skunk specimen alive or taxidermized, researchers came to find that there were actually seven spotted skunk species instead of the assumed four. These hard to study animals make it very challenging with their obvious smelly tactics, but can also be really good tree climbers living in remote areas. Soon, I fear we may have to look out for flying skunks. To help in their cause, scientists posted old western style wanted posters in hopes that people would know where to find these specimens. Now the reason this wanted poster system worked is because of how unknown the spotted skunk is as a species. People are a lot less likely to look past them due to their unique spotting pattern. The most impressive part of these ones is how they warn predators to back off. They hop on their front legs, sticking their butt as high in the air as they can get it to let you know that you're about to get a sulfur shower. Not ceasing to amaze, they have another trick up their fur. Spotted skunks have the ability to delay egg implementation. Now this means that they breed in fall, but wait until the spring to drop their egg and become pregnant. And this is thought to put off birth so that the conditions are more favorable for their young. Brookesia nana. This adorable chameleon is the smallest of them all, and quite possibly the smallest reptile in the world, 0.55 inches, with the females being slightly larger at 19 millimeters or 0.75 inches. And they are so small in fact that they could perch on the edge of a tic tac, and they still have those same swivelly eyes as their larger counterparts. They were first found by a tourist guide named Angeluk, who located them in Montaigne de Amra National Park. The subspecies of Brachygia all exhibit extreme miniaturization, which is making it increasingly harder for researchers to come up with smaller and smaller names. The predecessor that previously held the smallest chameleon throne was the Brachygia minima, so they settled on Nana for the one in this video. The word Nana is derived from the Latin word for dwarf. This specimen was found in the northern parts of Madagascar, but similar islands like the Caribbean often lay claim to the world's smallest creatures. One suggested possibility is scarcity of resources. Wolfgang Burma's Ethiopian chameleon. This chameleon is around 15 centimeters or 6 inches long and is probably the most battle ready looking specimen from our list today. These tiny warriors have spines that line the entirety of their back all the way down to the tips of their tails. They were mostly spotted in bushes and small trees in the Bale Mountains of South Central Ethiopia. This area of Ethiopia is a hot spot for endemism, which means the species exists nowhere else in the world. So much so, there are already two chameleon endemic to the area. These Ethiopian chameleon have a species complex with an unknown number of species rather than one or multiple subspecies. Chirixalis panthai salatan. This tree frog was first discovered in Java of 2017. They first located this species in the San Kang Nature Reserve on the southwest coast. And this is where it gets its name, Pantai Selatan, which means South Shore in Malay or Indonesia. They found five specimens sitting on a log that they used to describe this species. An interesting thing to know is that their skin actually changes color in the light. Light yellow in the light and light brown in darker settings. And they are also tiny, able to sit on something as small as the back of a thumbnail. Oligodon churahensis. This snake was discovered in quite an exciting fashion by a man visiting his home in Himachal Pradesh, a mountainous range in the western Himalayas. During lockdown, he was exploring his backyard and taking photos of the various animals that he found. After posting his photos online, one of them immediately grabbed the attention of an animal researcher, who immediately suspected it to be a new subspecies. This snake was noticed as unfamiliar, but belonged to a subspecies called the Kirky snake, named after Kirky blades themselves, which are a type of Nepali dagger. After contact was made, researchers asked him to find two more, to which he quickly did. Once described as a new species, it was named after Chura Valley, the valley it was found in. It would have been described much sooner, 
but due to the events in 2020, researchers were unable to access their labs, to which they waited until 2021 to finally submit their findings. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Manga Bay, the website that published these articles for me to use in this video today, as every article is easily accessible through the main article, and citing the papers that these animals were documented in at the bottom. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and sticking around until the end, and I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, and also comment what you'd like to see in the next video. Take care.